Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to demonstrate and explain how the indicator or a flasher circuit works on a motorcycle. So the flasher circuit or the indicator circuit consists of our indicators. I have two old indicators here off an old Honda Shadow which I'm going to use for this demonstration. It also consists of the uh, power supply which will be the battery okay for this demonstration it consists of the uh, handlebar switch and then it also consists of an important component which is called the uh, flasher or indicator relay so let's move the indicator relay and the switch the handlebar switch out of the way for the moment what I want to discuss is the indicators themselves. So the first thing we need to understand is the flow of the current through the indicator. So when the indicator is connected <coughs> into the wiring loom, um, the orange uh, wire, there's usually two wires from each indicator, the orange wire will be connected up to the positive terminal of the battery. So I'm just going to connect that into the positive terminal of the battery. So through that red wire, which is connected up to the positive terminal. So then the green wire is going to be connected up to this green wire here, which is connected into the negative terminal of the battery. So let me just connect it in like so. So as you can see, the indicator is turning on when I connect up this circuit. So what is actually happening here? Well, the flow of current is from the positive terminal of the battery. It flows through this red wire, orange wire, which leads into the indicator. It goes up through the little bulb in the indicator, which lights up. And then the current continues through the green wire, which is connected up here. To the negative terminal of the battery. So that is the flow of current through the all uh, indicators or flashers uh, on a motorcycle. So I have an indicator on the right hand side and I have an indicator on the left hand side. And both of those indicators have a green and an orange wire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect up the two green wires to the negative terminal of the battery and I'm going to connect up the two orange wires to the positive terminal of the battery. Okay. <clears throat> and if they're all connected up, let me just make a connection, there we have all the indicators turning on. Now obviously we do not want all the indicators turning on because that's not how indicators work. We only want these indicators to work when we're turning left or right. So we want some control over the indicators. And when we turn on the indicators, we don't just want them turned on consistently. All indicators or flashers should be blinking. So they should be flashing at a regular pace. So there's a lot of things we need to control here in this indicator circuit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to focus on one of the indicators because it's a bit confusing if you do two indicators at the one time. So first of all, I'm going to introduce the switch. So here's the um, handlebar switch for my left and the right and then the one pressing it down in the middle it uh, breaks the circuit and cuts the power or stops the current flowing through the circuit <clears throat> so i know from um, tests that i've done on this handlebar switch in a previous video which you can take a look at i know that uh, for the right indicator i need the blue wire and I need the grey wire. So 
So what, what way am I going to connect this up? So let's think about this. So I'm going to connect. <clears throat> I'm going to connect this orange wire. I'm going to connect that into this blue wire. Okay, and I'm going to connect the grey wire into the to the positive terminal of the battery, like so. All right. So let's just picture that circuit. Try and try and too much wires here, but just sit on it a little. And then we have this green wire here, which we would like to connect up into the circuit. So what we're going to do here is we are going to connect up. I'm just going to extend this green wire from the negative terminal of the battery. Okay. So I have good connections, bullet connectors. I'm going to connect the green wire again to the negative terminal of the battery. So now we can think about that current flow again. So the current is going to flow from the positive terminal of the battery. We're going to follow it through, through red into grey. It's going to flow up through this black wire, through the grey wire that flows, which is in terminal to the, the black wire which leads up to this switch and then back from the switch there is another wire which is a blue wire this one here and that blue wire is connected up into the orange wire which is in the goes into the bulb and then from the bulb through the green wire which is connected to the negative terminal of the battery so we can see here that the indicator is connected via the green wire to the negative straight to the negative terminal of the battery it's always connected to that negative terminal of the battery but the orange wire from the indicator is connected to the red wire or to the positive terminal of the battery through our switch so now if I press to indicate that I'm turning right my light comes on and that light will stay on as long as or until I press this button to cancel the blinker. So I hit that, I press down on that um, indicator switch in the middle, press it to the middle and that breaks the, uh, creates a break in the circuit and then the current can no longer flow. So that's how my right indicator works. So now I want to connect in my other indicator, which is the left indicator. And it's going to be a similar connection. So I'm going to connect my green wire directly into the negative terminal of the battery, like so. So that one's going to be simple. That's a nice simple connection. That's permanently connected in there. And then I'm going to connect Again, I know from the previous video, the tests that I did in a previous video, I know that the orange wire from this switch can be connected to the, or it controls the left hand turn indicator. All right, the indicator switch. So when I, when I press, that button to the left, I know that it creates a connection or a circuit between the orange wire and the grey wire. So I'm going to connect the orange wire from this indicator into this orange wire that's connected to this that's connected into the switch. So now once I indicate left with the handlebar switch, the left switch comes on. So again, just think about how the current is flowing. It's coming from the positive terminal of the battery to the grey wire. The grey wire is connected to the switch. The switch is connected then for the, on the left hand side. The switch is connected to this orange wire, which outputs from the switch, which goes in, feeds into the um, into the actual indicator 
and then the current flows through the bulb, lights it up, and then it continues on this journey through the green wire to the negative terminal of the battery. Okay, so let's just demonstrate again. There's our right switch, there's our left switch, turning on the left indicator and the right indicator. So we now have control over our indicators using a switch. But again, the problem here is when I indicate right, this light is on continuously. And that's not the way indicators are meant to work. They're meant to flash. So what are we going to do? We need control. We need the flasher to actually, the light to flash on and off. So what we do is, or this is where the indicator relay comes in. See, the, the role of the indicator relay in a flasher circuit or an indicator circuit is to control that flash. So let's connect the relay into the circuit to demonstrate how it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect it into the um, <clears throat> negative terminal of the battery or the wire that's connected to the negative terminal of the battery. So I'm going to break this connection in the negative terminal of the battery. So I'm going to take out this piece of wire and I'm going to connect in this relay. So I'm going to connect the two little, this is a two pin relay. So it has one, one of the wires that are connected to the indicators. It's connected at one on one terminal. And then the negative terminal of the battery is connected to the second terminal, like so. So I now have my little flasher relay connected into the circuit. So now once I, I'm going to indicate that I'm turning left, now you can see that my left flasher is flashing. And now if I cancel that and I want to indicates that I'm turning right. Now I can see that my right flasher is flashing. Now, and then I can cancel that. So that's essentially how the indicator circuit works on a motorcycle. The one thing I want to note here is that if you just look at this left indicator again, let's just indicate left. You're going to notice that it's flashing too quickly. That's, that's, that's actually flashing too quickly. And that can happen sometimes when you put indicators, uh, new indicators into the, uh, or install them on your motorcycle. All of a sudden you find that the indicators are flashing too quickly. Um, now, with this particular relay, I can actually control that flasher rate. There's a little uh, screw which is built into this little flasher relay. I just need a little flathead screwdriver and I can actually adjust it. So I can turn it clockwise, right? And now I can turn indicate left again. And now you can see that the rate has slowed down considerably. Now this flasher rate is actually now too slow. So I need to find middle ground. So I need to adjust this little screw instead of turning the whole way I'm just going to turn halfway and now let's indicate left again speed it up a little bit and that looks more like a, the rate that we would expect and then I can cancel that left indicator and let's indicate um, right again so that's flashing at just about the right rate as well so this particular uh, flasher relay has some fairly advanced electronics built into it inside, which are probably beyond the scope of this video to explain how they work. It's actually rather for such a little small, simple unit, the electronics are actually quite advanced. It's, it's actually really impressive. These, these flasher relays, you can get them for between one and three dollars 
think I paid probably two or three euro for this particular relay. Got it on eBay or somewhere like that. Um, you know, they're just a simple little cheap piece of electronics, but inside it's it's actually quite advanced. What's going on inside? Um, so that's the first type of uh, indicator relay. The thing with this indicator relay is that when I indicate left or right, you only see a flash. You don't hear a flash. You don't hear a tick. Now there is a second type of um, flasher relay, which it looks quite similar, but inside it has it works uh, off a bimetallic strip. So it's a more mechanical type uh, flasher relay. Uh, although it's mechanical in nature, it, it basically works off a little piece of um, metal strip, which has two, uh, it's kind of, I suppose, although it's one metal strip, it's composed of two different metals. And what happens is when current flows through one half of the metal strip, it causes that little piece of metal to heat up quite quickly and it tends to bend and when it bends it actually makes a connection it causes a connection on the other half of the metal strip which allows which basically causes a short and then it causes current to stop flowing through the first metal strip or first half of the metal strip and then that cools down and then the little metal strip straightens back up and then the cycle continues okay so that's the bimetallic strip in a nutshell um it's it's more or less mechanical in nature as in there is moving parts but what the thing with the bimetallic strip indicator is <clears throat> it's actually quite reliable uh, and secondly um when it the bimetallic strip is moving like so it actually causes this little banging of the connections causes a noise so you'll hear a click so when you go and press your left indicator you'll hear tick 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 now that ticking noise is the bimetallic strip in the actual flasher relay and if you actually touch that flasher relay when it's when the indicator is flashing you'll actually feel it you'll hear it feel a little bit of a vibration so there are the two different types of um, flasher relay you would think that the electronic flasher relay is um, has made the bimetallic strip flasher relay redundant that is not actually the case on my 2015 uh, Kawasaki Ninja um, it actually has a flasher relay with a bimetallic strip I can hear it clicking away and if I touch it I can feel it I can feel it actually vibrating due to that strip moving back and forth um, and why do they stick with that um, bimetallic strip flasher relay well because of the fact that it makes that noise it's an extra indication for the rider that your indicators are working. Uh, if your indicators are not actually working on most motorcycles, what will happen is if you're, if let's say there is a, uh, a bad connection and one of the wires comes loose, or let's say you take out an indicator out of the circuit and you forget to put it back onto your motorcycle, or the connection just comes loose for whatever reason, when you go to when you press the indicator button you, you might not see that your flasher is not working but what you will hear is that you will hear a very fast ticking noise and you will see on the dashboard that the uh, indicator light will be flashing really quickly so that is an indicator that there's a malfunctioning or a malfunction or a bad connection or a bad broken indicator in your indicator circuit